So I've had my braces for six months now, and there are some things that I didn't realize when I got myself into this. So today I'll be sharing with you 10 things that I wish I knew before I got my braces and if it's worth it. The first thing I wish I knew about braces is that the first two to three weeks that you have them, your teeth and gums are extremely sensitive. Now I didn't really notice this pain at rest, but mainly when trying to chew food. So your body will adapt, but it's gonna take time. And until then, you wanna make sure you stick to soft foods and smoothies. Sandwiches, burgers, and wraps are not easy to eat, but it is possible if you cut them up into small bites. Another thing to keep in mind is that after every wire change, your teeth are gonna be very sensitive as well. And these typically occur every six to eight weeks, depending on your orthodontist. The second thing I didn't realize is that you may experience weight loss, and depending on your current fitness goals, this could be a positive or negative effect. I've found that with braces, I'm less likely to snack and tend to eat more food at meals to avoid brushing my teeth multiple times per day and changing my rubber bands. Food wasn't as appealing due to the discomfort. I experienced weight loss and this was a concern for me, so I had to make sure I was getting in enough calories at every meal. Chocolate milk quickly became my go-to because it didn't require any chewing and it helped me get in extra calories and protein. Flossing with braces can feel like a sewing project, but I do have a couple tips for you. The first one is that if you like traditional floss, I recommend using flossing loops. I found these to work really great. If you like using flossing sticks, they do make a special type of flossing stick that is compatible with braces and I will leave a link for you down below. Water flossers can be really nice to help keep your braces clean and flush out any food particles. I found a cheap one on Amazon for just about $30, and I think it's really helpful, especially if you develop any gaps in your teeth, which is very common with braces. But just remember that a water flosser is not a replacement for flossing. Your treatment may include wearing rubber bands. Sometimes rubber bands are worn for 24 hours a day, sometimes only at night, and they're used to correct any issues with your bite. Now, rubber bands can be a little tricky to put on at first, but your dentist should provide you with special picks and you'll just use the pick to help place the rubber band on your bracket hook. I found it helpful to keep one pick in every bag of rubber bands and then keep a bag of rubber bands in multiple places, such as your car, your purse, your backpack, boyfriend's truck, whatever. The positioning of your rubber bands may change throughout your treatment. For example, I wore one rubber band on each side in the beginning stages, and currently I'm only wearing one rubber band on the right side around three different brackets of my teeth, but I took it out for the video. Braces can cause mouth ulcers. Even after having braces for six months, I still get mouth ulcers. So make sure you stock up on plenty of dental wax and sea salt. Use dental wax on any brackets or wires that are causing irritation. Saltwater rinses can also help by decreasing bacterial growth, reducing inflammation, and promoting healing. You can make one of these by mixing one teaspoon of sea salt and with eight ounces of warm water. Being dehydrated increases the chance that you'll develop a mouth ulcer. If you're consuming caffeine and alcohol, make sure that you're drinking plenty of water. This will also prevent you from waking up in the morning with your cheeks stuck to your brackets. Braces make you more prone to cavities because food particles can easily get trapped. Make sure you brush your teeth every single time you eat, no matter where you are, ideally within five minutes. You may need to brush your teeth on the go, so I like to be prepared. I made a few travel size bags that had travel size toothpaste, mouthwash, flossing loops, flossing sticks, and extra rubber bands, and dental wax. Bite turbos, also known as bite ramps or bite blocks, are very annoying. They are attachments placed on the surface of your teeth that prevent your upper and lower teeth from touching so that you don't bite off your bottom brackets. They can definitely take some getting used to, but by keeping your upper and lower teeth apart, your teeth will move faster. I still find after having braces for six months that eating certain foods is very difficult because my bottom teeth and my top teeth and the back don't completely touch so I'm not grinding my food or chewing my food like I normally would. For the first five months of my treatment, my bright turbos were placed on my top set of teeth on each side, but recently they were moved behind my two front teeth and right after they placed them, I instantly had a lisp. So this was very alarming, but it did go away after a few days. As you get used to the bite turbos, you'll naturally adjust how you speak and your voice will sound more normal. If you have any facial piercings, you may need to do some adjusting or take them out. I had a lip ring and for me, it just wasn't worth it. I decided to take it out every time I was talking. It kept catching on my wire and it was really awkward. You might want to stock up on chapstick. 
My lips are always trapped. Wearing braces causes your lips to dry out because they're stretching wider over your teeth. My dentist had bowls of chapstick that were available for patients to help themselves to at each appointment. I also found that Vaseline works really well too. While your teeth are being aligned, they may look worse before they look better. But don't worry because having braces is a process. It's normal if spaces open up between your teeth and it's also normal if your tooth begins to feel loose because it's being removed. My lower teeth started to form a sideways S shape, but don't worry because all these things are normal. Just be patient and have trust in your orthodontist. So is it worth it? In my opinion, definitely yes. Now getting braces does require a lifestyle change and I didn't realize how involved it would be, but after the first few weeks, you get used to it and everything just becomes part of your daily routine. So that's pretty much everything I wish I knew about braces. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below and I'll see you all in my next video.